Lucy kids and welcome. My name's Feline and we have a fun lesson planned for you today. But before we get into it, I want to welcome all our friends. I first want to welcome Kierme, Kiera, Sarai, Isaiah, Navea, Mariah, Aralia, Freddie, Michelle, CJ, Scarlett, Leah, Elena, Adeline, Emmy, Leo, Hunter, Benjamin, and Sierra. Now, EFC kids, I have a new contest that you could take part in, and I'm excited about this one. So this time, you'll be decorating a fish. An adult can help you draw the outline of a fish, or you can do it yourself, and it's gonna look like this. It kinda looks like a goldfish snack. So here's my completed fish. I went out to my rose bush and picked a rose, and then took the petals and decorated my fish with it. So you can go out in your backyard or use things around your home or even colors only if you want. And then when you're done, have an adult take a picture of it and they could text it to me or Pastor Don. And make sure that we get those pictures this Thursday because next Sunday I'll be announcing two winners. And oh, I can't wait to see all of your beautiful fishes. Now we have our Bible verse of the week and the Mesa family is going to help us out with it. Jesus showed himself to his disciples. John 21, 14. Today we are in Galilee. Peter was with his friends. They decided that they were all going to go fishing. So they all climbed into a boat. They rowed the boat out onto the lake and splish, splash went the water as Peter and his friends threw a big net over the side of the boat. Soon we'll have lots of good fish to eat, said the fishermen. All night, Peter and his friends tried to catch fish. And can you believe it? That they didn't even catch one? And in the morning, the tired fishermen heard someone yelling, Friends, do you have any fish? No, we don't, the fishermen answered. Then throw your net on the other side of the boat, the man called, and you will find some fish. Ash, the men threw the net on the other side of the boat. And right away, the fishing net filled with wiggling, slippery fish. And the fishermen were happy. But who was the kind man who had called to them? Maybe some of the men looked carefully toward the man on the shore. Then someone said, it's Jesus. Peter was surprised. He was so excited that he jumped into the water and swam to the shore. The other fishermen were surprised, but the other fishermen stayed on the boat so that they could bring in the net of all the fish that they had just caught. And when all the fishermen reached the shore, they saw their friend Jesus with Peter. Jesus had cooked some fish on a fire and he even had some bread too. Jesus knew that his friends must have been hungry. Oh, how happy the fishermen must have felt to have their friend Jesus visit them. What a wonderful breakfast and what a wonderful surprise. Boys and girls, I love surprises. And how about you? Now it's worship time. So kids, let's get up out of our seats and let's worship. Oh, no. 
Will it sink or will it float? Here's a fun activity you can do at home with a container and water, but make sure to have an adult help you. Okay. It floats. Your turn. It floats. I had so much fun today, and I hope you did too. And now, boys and girls, it's time for prayer. So bow your head and close your eyes. Dear Jesus, thank you for this time that we have together today to hear your word. Thank you, Lord, for all that you do for me and my family. Lord, protect us throughout the week. We love you. In your name we pray. Amen. Okay, boys and girls, I had lots of fun today, and I hope you did too. So don't forget to do your fish project and have an adult take a picture of it and send it to me or Pastor Don. Okay, see you next week. God bless.